So hello everyone. So today's project is to design an obstacle detection system. So for that we will need um, we will just make a simulation for that system today. So how that can be done? So uh, for that uh, you know already multiple videos are available in uh, the internet if you browse there are different videos available using the coding system for uh, writing a code using involving two systems one is writing a code and uh, schematic designing and the other one is doing a flowchart and the schematic designing using proteus which is a simulation tool that we are going to use for today so let's uh, start without doing any further delay okay I think so this will be helpful for um, students, first time learners and also it will also increase to the knowledge to uh, make you capable enough to uh, design your own flowchart. Okay, so um, let's start. So just select the new project option that you have and it is initializing the project wizard as we can see. So it's loading. Okay, a window has come, so you can always remember where you are, uh, where you want to save your file. So make sure you're just giving a nice name for it. Let's say uh, I can give it as a obstacle detection project. Okay, detection project. Or you can name it as experiment, any experiment, you know, if it is a part of your lab task for the students, basically. Or you can name it in your own name as well, in Arduino, etc., etc. So firstly, we need to specify whether we need a schematic or not. Obviously, uh, using a flowchart is not enough. You need to understand the hardware uh, connections as well. So for hardware connections or circuit connections, schematic diagram is necessary. So obviously, uh, I will just select the next button. For now, uh, I'm not using any PCB uh, layout. I will not be needing any uh, PCB layout because I'm not going to do the hardware uh, connections for now. Okay, PCB layout is basically printing out the circuit. Uh, in a layout format and after that uh, for those purpose if you need those then you can select your own option as you want but now I'm not going to need this so I'm not going to select uh, this create a PCB so I'm just going to give a next okay but here we need one flowchart system because our we are trying to not write the code instead we are going to design our system using a flowchart. So by default, the family, okay, family Arduino, Arduino Uno, and uh, these will be selected. But if you want to do with some other uh, microcontroller, so you can select from here as well. If you want your system to be done with Raspberry Pi, that can also be selected. But make sure that your flowchart and the system uh, for Raspberry Pi and other components is uh, perfectly as it is supposed to be. Okay. So just give a finish and then you can see your uh, files. Okay, schematic capture where you're going to design your system circuit designing and along with that you will get another file for uh, creating your flowchart. So since our flowchart is going to be a little bit uh, long with some conditions, okay, so uh, we will just re size the event uh, operations okay so now just go to file for finding some uh, equipments what sort of now the question arises that what sort of equipments we can select for our system so just uh, for as our um, project name is it is obstacle detection so what sort of sensor from here? We will just go through all the sensor names, okay? From Grove file, uh, Grove option, just select it. You can see different sorts of sensors available, but usually the most appropriate sensor for our case would be ultrasonic sensor. 
so just place it somewhere okay just place it nearby place the sensor nearby okay and as you can see you can increase or decrease the value here plus and minus two options are there so we will see it later on while we are done with uh, flowchart designing so if we go back to the visual designer initially there was no component available on this side but as we have added one component which is the uh, ultrasonic sensor this name is showing here so along with that along with this uh, operation we need to um, see some indicator lights okay so indicator light why because we are going to place some conditions uh, for those uh, specific range we are going to give a range uh, of distance okay if we select a range and within this range your obstacle is then your LED light will just glow and if you want you can show some display system here so we will select two uh, one two outputs one is <clears throat> one is the display okay OLED display you're going to select just open and place it nearby so in order to uh, see the outputs effectively nicely so that we don't have to zoom in and out again and again I'm just placing the components very nearby to each other uh, you can take the components uh, anywhere you want but make sure that it is within the blue box okay so since yellow light yellow colored light is more prominent so I'm just taking one yellow uh, breakout board okay just place it nearby as well just uh, make sure that these don't overlap each other so now our schematic diagram or circuit diagram is completed at this time if you want you can give a save option okay one save so that uh, for any reason your design does not get lost so now if you go to the flowchart you will see all your components easily available readily available so now before initiating our system okay initiating our flowchart design what we need to do is go to the setup portion so since it is a very small uh, designing I'm just trying to make it a little bit larger so inside this setup just take uh, your initial condition of LED as off okay next inside the loop what is your target okay you will be for today we are going to take one decision box and specify a distance here okay so now for specifying understanding that which sort of uh, unit we are going to use we are going to select our sensor and see which units it usually uh, process okay for which units your system can be activated usually in centimeters or in inches okay so centimeters is a small number let's start with a small number a basic one okay just centimeter so if you double click it here also you can see the reading as centimeter for read centimeter system if you select read inches then it will be in inches anyways so now let's proceed let's make the decision uh, let's make a decision of centimeter is let's say less than within a range you know less than or equal to you can give or less than you can give any uh, distance you can give so I'm just giving uh, let's say less than 15 okay 15 centimeter which means your object if your object is within 15 centimeter then some operations what sort of operations will be happening here that you will be specifying okay so first one first option is your LED light will glow on okay so LED light will be indicating that yes your object is within the distance specified and along with that you can show some uh, message display okay assignment here and you can also call one subroutine why we are doing this once you write the assignment 
then you will get to know so in assignment select this new give a variable uh, give a new variable which is message okay one sort of message you want to display where inside your OLED display that you have collected or uh, connected okay that you have connected for your circuit in uh, schematic capture so just write it here uh, select message and what sort of message you want to display let's say you want your obstacle to be shown at which distance it is okay so you can write currently obstacle is at okay at then give a space and just close it while you're giving a space that you will get to know a little bit later if you don't give a space then what happens i will show so this is the plus one and then again give a space to string to string which means the value okay which value and the unit you need to specify the unit as well so give uh, one Excla exclamatory sign I'm sorry quotation sign okay one uh, quotation sign and then again centimeter and space away from the sensor so as you can see the line is so um, one big message you know So now there is one problem. This cannot be placed in the assignment block. You can see the tick mark is not coming here. So what can be done? How can we activate our system? Okay this uh, message you want to show but you can see it is not coming here why because we have made one mistake in message we have written integer okay variable we have taken integer but it is supposed to be in string because the letters you're using some letters isn't it so we will just edit which one do you want to edit okay just select that this one you want to edit so here instead of integer you will just select string so now give ok and now it's correct just control C ok just copy this message for your future help and just place ok ok so first one is done so next here also we will take another message for no keys okay for no keys no keys means this part right here if your obstacle is not within the range that you have defined so as you can see the range is 15 one is when the current uh, obstacle is at in something centimeter away so same thing we will just write it here message control V so you can write another option of stakel not detected okay and so you can modify your message whichever message you want to um, show that is totally up to you if you want you can just write obstacle is detected obstacle is not detected etc etc okay so here also led is off and you need to call one display system as well so just connect the dots just connect it 
so what sort of display system we can call now our next target would be to know what sort of display system you want to call and how for how long your LED uh, will be activated after which time okay so we can take we can take a very small time like in seconds okay one second or so uh, one second is a nice time you can take two seconds you can uh, modify your delay value as well so now we need to activate our LCD display how we can do that just call one event okay display message and just give an ok and double click this call and you will get the display message as it has been initiated right now okay before that if you give call then your display message may not be uh, because you have not made the event block yet so it cannot be called so now you have the clear display here first task next task is to set the text color the display output how the color would be so since when you will be doing your um, I mean simulation you will see that the background of your OLED display will no longer be blue color anymore it will be around like black color so in black white color of text output is more prominent that's the reason why we are going to uh, select the color as white and in set cursor okay, sex, um, in set text is perfectly good it is one it's fine so the size is fine if you take two then your large message may not be able to be displayed so you might uh, be facing one trouble so that's the reason why I have taken one very uh, text color uh, text size as a very uh, small value one value and uh, the cursor the positioning of your display uh, display of message you know the positioning can be uh, in a very small value or you can modify the cursor as well so I'm taking five five small values and then we will just give the print okay, what you want to print you can see one question mark is here okay so you want to print your message obviously so just place it and then you need to uh, use the display option so where is the display I can't find it okay here just place it so all your uh, flowchart is also done so for activating this you need to use the debug option just like other experiments that we usually do for flowchart so if you just go um, give a check again how your system will work when it is less than when the distance is less than uh, I mean distance of your obstacle is in between 15 centimeters uh, which means 0 to 14 centimeters then only your LED will glow up and message will be displayed which message this one okay currently obstacle is at something centimeter away from the sensor when the distance is more than uh, 15 okay more than 15 then what will happen equal to 15 or more than 15 centimeters then this message will be shown and LED will be turned off okay just like the initial case so now fast fast let's build our project okay uh, we will just select this build option build project and wait for some time because it needs a little bit of time for you know compiling and meanwhile you will see how and which uh, destinations are being used for compiling the overall which functions are used as well you can just go through these things for any for you know just uh, knowing anyways so after this one is done you will see that uh, compiled successfully some sort of message will be shown compiled successfully okay you can see our compilation is done so just go to the schematic capture and now we can play the system okay, just play it and wait for some time 
as you can see our distance by default was 50 which means it is greater than our range specified that's the reason why your yellow LED light is not glowing and at the same time obstacle not detected and currently obstacle is at 50 cm away you can also write obstacle not detected within specified range also as well so it totally depends on you what sort of message you want to display and if we want to i mean see what happens within 10 uh, 15 centimeter okay within 14 i mean we can take 14 or 13 any value which is below the specified range let's say 14 i have taken you can take 13 as well 12 as well okay as, as you're uh, taking the range between the specified distance which means your obstacle is in uh, a specified range so here it is um, in between 12 centimeters so currently obstacle is at 12 centimeter away from the sensor you can also write obstacle is detected if you want in your message and obstacle is detected at 12 centimeter away at, at something centimeter away from the sensor okay or obstacle is detected within range you can write it this way as well for that what you need to modify is the two string bracket centimeter parenthesis okay th that specific function if you don't write then also your message will be displayed so the message writing is totally up to you how you're going to do it and you can see along with that your LED light is glowing so this was basically how you can make one um, simple flowchart for your obstacle detection project I guess and I hope that many of you um, got to know something from this project and got to know how you can uh, give some decisions okay some uh, conditions and just operate one simple system simple obstacle detection system obstacle uh, how the distance is for any object from a sensor ultrasonic sensor okay so you can uh, I think if you want you can add number modify your system add many other uh, LED lights indicators for some other uh, you know distances as well this is totally up to you you can modify your project obviously this is just the basic but I would suggest do play with your project skills okay how you can modify it how you can include some extra outputs or how you can include some other functions you know so for basic i think it is more than enough so i'm just stopping my video for now and uh, do share your views about it your feedback about uh, if you have understood the overall system or not uh, you can you're free to contact me as well so thank you very much for being with me and um, listening to this uh, and learning about this system basically, listening to me. And thank you very much. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.